friends, welcome back to Get Your Play Online. My name is Taylor and I'm so glad to be joining you tonight for our first bedtime story of the evening. I'm just going to let you know just in case that where I'm at, it is storming very, very hard. And so if you hear a loud boom or bang, it's because it's the thunder, because the thunder's been really loud for the last hour or so. So just a heads up, I want you to be aware that if you hear a loud noise, it's the thunder, okay? So tonight's bedtime story is going to be Always Hug a Unicorn. Now, I have never got to hug a unicorn, but I know that if I saw one, I would definitely hug it as soon as I saw it. I wonder why you should always hug a unicorn. Do you know why you should always hug a unicorn? Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. I never thought about it like that. I personally would hug a unicorn because they're super sweet and they're so fluffy and cute that I would just want to hug it and squeeze it and never let go of it. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Hugging unicorn would be the greatest thing ever. So on the back of our book, it says, always hug a unicorn. And it tells us why you should always hug a unicorn too. So let's listen and see why we should always hug a unicorn. Always hug a unicorn. They're sweeter than the rest. Read this book and you'll see that they like hugs the best. Readers will love this sweet book. It's full of rainbow touches to explore. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to get started reading. Are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and get started. Unicorns love cuddles more than magic rainbow cake. So always hug a unicorn. It won't be a mistake. And I know that you guys aren't able to, but you can touch and feel this. Now, I'm going to tell you some things that you can feel that are probably around your house so that you can get an idea of what it feels like. This cupcake feels like, take your finger and rub the front of your nose, up and down or side to side. That's what this, um, that's what this cupcake feels like. It feels like your nose. Unicorns love cuddles more than flowers in the sun, so always hug a unicorn and you'll have lots of fun. And this flower, you're able to touch the flower, see? And it makes a sound too. You know what it sounds like and what it feels like to me? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> this flower it feels and sounds like a candy wrapper. So if, have uh, you guys ever eaten a lollipop before? Or if you guys have ever taken the wrapper off of your own lollipop or your own candy bar, this is what it sounds like. It sounds like you're taking the wrapper off your favorite candy and that's also what it feels like is the wrapper that goes on your lollipop or on your candy bars. So that's what our flower feels like. Unicorns love cuddles more than more than little rainbow fish. So always hug a unicorn and it might grant your wish. Oh, do you guys think that your wish would come true if you hug a unicorn? That would be so amazing. And if you feel this, you know what it feels like to me? If you take your fingers and you make a high five, and then you kind of bend your fingers down and lightly rub it on your hand. That's what the fish's tail feels like. Just like that. A little bit bumpy, a teeny tiny bit scratchy. But that's what the rainbow fish's tail feels like. Unicorns love cuddles more than songs in rainy weather. Hey, and it's raining outside where I'm at. <laughs> So always hug a unicorn and you can sing together. This umbrella, it's so soft. You wanna know what this umbrella feels like? If you take your hand and you rub it on your bed and you feel your blanket, that's exactly what this umbrella feels like. It's super soft like the blanket on your bed. Yeah, it's so soft and super smooth and it makes me just want to rub my face all over it and lay down on the umbrella. <laughs> Unicorns like party games and they love dancing too. Show me some of your dance moves, you guys. <laughs> 
maybe, but what they love the most of all is being hugged by you. Oh my goodness. So if you guys ever see a unicorn, make sure you hug it because it says what they love the most of all is being hugged by you. And the unicorn's hair is super soft, just like on the front page. And if you want to know what the unicorn's hair feels like, take your hands and rub it through your hair. And that's exactly what the unicorn's hair feels like. It's soft like your hair and my hair. Isn't that amazing? And that's the end. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for our bedtime story. I really appreciated you guys joining me. And I had so much fun reading this story to you all. I can't wait until our next bedtime story together. But until then, make sure that you guys have a great night and that you tune in for our next bedtime story at 9 o'clock. Bye, everyone.